So, how's it going? We're, we're out in Pagosa Springs, Colorado. This is where we're gonna be for our Thanksgiving this year. And uh, I don't know if you can see all the snow and everything just around me. It's, it's a peaceful place, super cool. And uh, it's gonna be just totally relaxing for us. Uh, we drove up uh, Wednesday before Thanksgiving and we're gonna be meeting Jocelyn's sister and her husband as well as her parents here in Pagosa and we're gonna have Thanksgiving in Pagosa Springs. Uh, this is our timeshare where we stay and uh, they just renovated. Let's come check it out. So as you walk in the door, you got this cool looking little ledge thing. They just redid these so they have new wood floors nice marbly countertops black appliances dark like mahogany cabinetry they really did a really good job we're staying at the Wyndham and Pagosa and there's Jocelyn say hi Jocelyn She says it reminds her of her new office closet. All the colors and the darks and um, just, I don't know, it's, it's classy, it's really nice. And then we got some uh, hot air balloons, something to remind us of home. Even though all these photos that are in here, all the art are of Pagosa. So, really cool, watch, here comes Kanan. <gasps> <laughs> So here's the dining area, as I was showing earlier. Here's the living room. And down this hallway, this is the master bedroom. Turn on some lights, which has all new artwork, furniture, Bed lights, new bed, seating, television and storage. Got a closet over here. Jocelyn says her little nieces and nephew are coming, so I have to pause it here. Can you hear them? Okay, so we last left off in the master bedroom. And so we'll go, I guess we could go through here to the main restroom, which connects to the rest of the thing. But uh, you got twin vanities here with a really, I, I like all the, the fixtures, but this mirror, it's like, oof, fancy. Anyway. But everything's all updated, all new fixtures and stuff like that. There's the commode. I'm sure you guys seen those before, but anyway. So we go back out to the hallway here. So it's got a lock off. So that's this one here is the main one, like it's one unit. So over here you would it's its own standalone unit, but since um, we have a lot of people here this weekend, uh, we got the lock off, so we got the full section. So this is where Kanan's going to stay, and I guess I'll start off from his front door, because it does have a front door access there, and he's got a living room with his own TV and chair and dining table, and full little kitchen. I mean, you got a refrigerator, you got the stove, the dishwasher, sink, uh, coffee maker, all the stuff and everything in the Wyndham uh, units have, I mean, they have everything, they have pots and pans, all the things that you need to cook with. Um, I mean, you bring your own food, of course. And, uh, but it's like being at home, away from home, instead of just like a hotel where you have to go out to eat or order in. Which you could still do, of course, but uh, 
it's nice to have those at home type amenities. And here's Kenan's room. We try to turn on the light in here. And he's got the same bed that we do. And pretty much the same stuff, the lamps and chair, TV. Uh, it's just a little bit smaller of a room. And this really cool mirror that's not only in his room, but it's in our hallway as well. And he's got a full closet here as well too with extra bedding for the pull-out couch in the living room which both units have pull-out couches so each of them have uh, two beds so a total of four beds in these in this uh, double lock-off so we'll go back over here because I think there was one more thing that I needed to show and that's this. They also have a stacked washer and dryer unit. So you could do your laundry as well. So you don't have to pack as much. Which is something, a feature I really like. There's our mirror. And so now we're back over to the living room. So that was it. That was the walk around of our, I keep wanting to call it a hotel room, but I, it's not. Our, what do you call it? Condo. Sure. Um, our timeshare condo with Wyndham in Pagosa Springs. So with that, I'm gonna sign off and then hopefully we'll see some footage of our Thanksgiving. I don't know, the rest of our weekend, we'll try to kind of do a video of the whole thing. So there's that. Good morning. Well, it's Thanksgiving morning, and uh, like I said, we're in Pagosa Springs for Thanksgiving this year. And I kind of wanted to show you my uh, view out the window if it'll get it there. And we got snow overnight, I'd say a good 10, 12 inches, and it's still coming down pretty steady. So, I mean, exciting morning. See how the rest of the day goes. My poor little frozen car. I wonder if it got a charge last night. I should have, but I'm sure it got fully charged. Just can't see the indicator. It's covered in snow. All right, so Jocelyn's mom's doing a turkey. I think she put it in late last night. We're doing a ham, and Jocelyn's getting ready to put this, this guy in the oven here, which is brand new so it has all those wonderful brand new oven smells there it is and she's gonna glaze this thing in about an hour or so so we'll bring you back to that all right babe where are we with the ham I'm doing this because you may burn your hands. Proper. <laughs> <laughs> that looks pretty awesome. Sure does. Sure does. <laughs> We're gonna taste her when everybody comes. <clears throat> That's good. And it just falls apart. Awesome. Doesn't seem dry. Success. Just don't want you to be so backlit with the windows. Happy, Happy food, Dan. Happy food, Dan. All right, let's see. It's Thanksgiving ham. That'll work. <laughs> Got some tortillas, mustard, mm, leftover ham sandwiches. Yes. Thanks, babe. Good stuff. <laughs> there it is, all sliced up and ready to go. Hopefully, people will be getting here in a few minutes. It's, what is it, 12 16? It's not going to focus on it. <laughs> 
I don't know, almost time for lunch. Oh, the Black Friday in, in Pagosa Springs. Getting some Christmas gifts at discount prices at Walmart. <laughs> it's already kind of pandemonium. There's about five minutes left and people are going nuts over some things. I don't even know. Right. I don't know. I'm here for toys. For right. <laughs> Going for the, the non-crazy items. Right. I do not need a $99 phone. Uh, what I do need is a Frozen 2 dollhouse, right. apparently. And some Legos. Some Legos. And a Nerf Tupperware. Gun. Yeah. Because <laughs> we're crazy like that. Right. That's not a Christmas gift. That's just like for regular use. So. Anyway. Alright. So we just got done with the calmest Black Friday we've ever done. Black Friday shopping, spent all the money, <laughs> and um, yeah, we still gotta pack all our stuff to go back home. So hopefully we fit. We'll give you that update. Make sure, see if we didn't have to leave one of the kids. Um, but yeah, it was pretty mellow. Uh, we were able to get all the things that we wanted to get. Like I said earlier, we weren't really getting, looking for the big ticket items, just kind of the things that were good practical gifts. And so, yeah, Christmas shopping is done. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. So we got, Thanksgiving's almost over. I think we're gonna go back and have some leftovers. And, I uh, just enjoy the rest of the night and relax, so. I don't know. Yeah. I'll edit all this stuff.